Hey guys, I'm Hope. Today I'm here to share with you a little bit about my MCAT journey, provide you some hope hopefully, and also share you some tips on how to have a good positive attitude during your MCAT. So just a little bit of backstory, my 514 was not my first time taking the exam. I am a retaker. The first time I took the exam, I made a 500. And so just a little bit of story behind that. I was in my junior year at the University of Mobile. Um, my test date was scheduled in June. I started studying in November. And honestly, I should have waited to take my MCAT later. And this is because I didn't have any good mental strategies. I didn't have any good study strategies. And I was just trying to cram information in. And we all know that's not the way to go with the MCAT. You actually have to understand the information and not just cram and remember it. So flash forward to test day, um, I remember just being really freaked out and I had no strategies. I kind of let the MCAT just happen to me instead of me taking control of the MCAT and having a good attitude towards it. And I honestly, I just kind of scared, I was scared of it and I shouldn't have been. A month later, I got my MCAT score, wasn't happy with it, got that 500 and I knew I could do better. And so I started looking for um, materials and everything and I came across the MCAT mastery program and I saw that that was how you're supposed to change your mindset, which I was really excited about because coming from a sports background, I knew how much a mindset could actually make or break you. And so I started studying for that, started feeling really better about it, started to have a good eye towards the, towards the MCAT, and I saw my score started to increase. Come test day, I was really relaxed, really happy, honestly, because I knew it was over. I didn't have to take it again. I knew I, knew I was going to make a good score, so I was like, this is the end, perfect. So I made my 514, I'm super, super happy, and I know I couldn't do that without the MCAT Mastery Program. So I wanted to share with you a couple of tips that I learned throughout the way, and these are on attitude. And your first one is that your thoughts matter. I know this really specifically coming from a sports background. Um, I was a pitcher, and I knew that the way I performed had a lot to do with the way I was thinking about the batter. If I felt really confident that I had this girl, that I was gonna strike her out, I was gonna get her out, most of the time it did. But honestly, if I was a little bit scared of a girl and I was gonna give up a home run, give up a big hit, most of the time that happened too. And I think any of us can feel that way. You, Either you're an artist or a reader or something, if you feel like you're gonna make a mistake and you're nervous about making mistakes, that's when mistakes happen. And I think that's why your thoughts really do matter. If you're thinking you're gonna do great on this exam and that you're gonna kill it and you know this material, more than likely you will, but if you're a little bit scared of it, we're gonna have to all get over that fear because I did too and I understand. It's a big long test with a lot of material, but I know you can do it and I know that if you change your thoughts about the exam, it can change how you perform as well. And the second one is, is don't let other people's negative thoughts overcome your positive thoughts. And so this happened to me kind of in two different ways. I had a really good friend who was taking the MCAT whenever I was, and she was, she's kind of an anxiety war anyways, to be honest, but I remember her just being really freaked out about the exam, and it kind of started freaking me out too a little bit, and I had to figure out for myself to just let that go, let it go one ear without the other. Um, don't let her negative thoughts ever come my positive thoughts I was having towards the MCAT. And another thing that happened to me was that the first time I took the exam, I could not find a single person in the room who that was, that was their first time taking the MCAT. Everybody was either taking it for the second time or the third time. And I started having thoughts like, oh, I'm gonna have to redo this exam too. I'm gonna be in their same shoes as well. And that doesn't do anything good for you at all. You have to let negative thoughts go right by you. You have to let them just kind of like you have a shield and like you just let them rebound off of you because your positive thoughts are going to help you do this MCAT a lot better. And the third one is, is you have to practice these positive thoughts. I know they don't come easy and I understand that because I had to go through the learning curve too. And a lot of it had to do with me was like before the exam, I would talk to myself really positively like I got this. I know I studied for this hard. I know I can do this. And I did this section by section kind of. Like I knew Kim Fizz, I was like, hey, we're gonna start this hard. We're gonna start it off good. I know this material, I know chemistry. I got this. 
Then I got to Cars and I was like, hey, Cars is the time to take my brain off of science. This is time to learn something new. I can do this. When I got to that biology section, I was like, I know I prepared for this. This is the section I'm prepared for most. I can do this. And by the time I got to psychosocial, I'm like, girl, you got an hour and a half left to go. You can do this. You know psychology, you know sociology. These are some give me points. And so every time I had those positive attitudes, I realized that I did a lot better. But if I just let myself kind of go blank, I went started going to negative thoughts. And that's not a good thing either. And so I had to really be active about being cognitive about what I was thinking about. Well, I just want to share some tips with you. I want you to know that you can do this. And I want you to know that everybody's on your side and that if I can do it, you can do it. And I changed my score 14 points in a month and a half. And I did a lot of that by changing my attitude. And I just want you to know how important that is. Thank you.